Good morning, friends. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. So, since we just spoke with the day of the week, it's time to go day of the weekend. Hip, hip. You're right, it's Friday. It is hip hip. All right. So, today is day. Look. Wow, I can't talk. So, today is Friday, September 4th, 2020. So, are we looking out the window today for our weather? It's looking a lot better than it was yesterday, but it's still a little bit moving out. So we're gonna put, I think Bobby would be a good one. I mean, I do see the leaves blow just a little bit for some wind, but it's definitely more cloudy. So we got our cloudy picture. I'm gonna hang it up and take it down. Then we're gonna mark cloudy. So this week we've had one sunny day, one rainy day, Oh, sorry, friends. That's windy. <laughs> so one sunny day, one windy day, one cloudy day. And can you guess how many rainy days have we had? That's right, two. One, two. So we've had two rainy days. Yeah, a little bit rainy this week. <laughs> okay, let's go over our virtual rules for today. Um, watch your lesson videos. We've been doing three days. Sometimes four if you have a special fun thing going on. So watch your video so you know what we're doing. Uh, keep list your listening ears on. Make sure you're still listening to your parents at home. And it's also really important too to obviously listen to your parents because they're helping you with your lesson. But also keep your listening ears on whenever you're watching these videos because you might catch something that and be like, oh yeah. So just keep your listening ears on um, whenever you're watching these videos too. Yes. Keep your art supplies together. We pretty much have been using them every day. So keep them together and in the same place when you're done using them so you'll know right where to get them. Um, send us pictures. You want to see pictures of what you're doing. I know some of our friends have been sending us um, words for the letter of the day. And we have got some people, so please, please, yeah. please keep those coming in. So we, we like to see that. And then have fun. We've been having fun. We miss you, but we want you to have fun with the videos and um, enjoy what you're doing. And then on a side note with the art supplies parents, um, if you see that you are running short on supplies like paint, et cetera, um, just send us a message on Dojo and we can set up a time that you can stop by and we can get, um, get some more supplies if you need, like whatever you're running low on. Just let us know that specific item and we can help you out. So, to the letter of the week. It's been B this week. B, 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 an uppercase B and a lowercase B. So today is the last day of the week. So that means it's the last day that we're going to come up with some words. So we had a friend send us their word in uh, yesterday or today, um, and their word was baby. That's a really good one. Yeah, that was a good one. I don't think we thought about it. We didn't think of it. So good job. Um, so I'm trying to think, I'm going to try to do at least two more today. So I'm trying to think of one. Hmm. Oh, I know. How about the beach? You can go to the beach and see the ocean and sand and build sand castles, get sea spells. See one more. Hmm. Oh, Miss. Well, I'll ask our friends first, and maybe Miss Becky can help me. Last week, when we were talking about balls, and we were outside, and we were doing some complex moves with balls in the parking lot. <laughs> that was pretty fun. That was um, fun. <laughs> so I hope you guys had some fun with that too. But when we were out there and we were doing those complex moves, what was that thing called that when we were taking the ball and we were like throwing it to the ground, but then it came back to us and we did it again. So it was called a dribble. But what's that other word? What's that thing? What happens when it leaves our hand and it touches the ground and it comes back up? What? There's a word for that. And I'm pretty sure it starts with a B. You guys know what that word is? We talked about it. We talked about it last week whenever we were out there doing that stuff. Does anybody remember? I don't remember. I don't remember what that word is. Ms. Becky, do you remember what that word is? 
Remember when I had the whole thing up and down with it? Oh, I know. Bats. Bounce. That's the word. Thank you, Miss Becky. So bounce starts with the letter B. So that wraps up our letter of the week for this week. Um, since it's Friday. So what we're gonna do, um, as you guys can see up on our board, we have the letter A with all of our words. So that's what we're gonna do with all of this. We're gonna transfer it to another sheet. And then we're gonna get ready for on Tuesday. Um, our new letter of the week because we are do not have school on Monday, friends. So we get a three day weekend. We get three stay home days. We don't have to worry about doing schoolwork. So that's pretty fun. Um, then we'll see you guys back on Tuesday. So remember, no school on Monday. All this will be up there. And then we'll have a new letter that we start on Tuesday. So now we're going to do our parents. If you want to pull out the card at home, it's Mighty Minute number 94. It's Old McDonald. It's the same one that we did yesterday. Uh, we're just going to change up the animals. Yesterday, um, if I remember correctly, I think we did a cow and a pig. So today we're going to change it up and we're going to do a horse and sheep. Um, but you guys are welcome to use any kind of animal that you want to do. If you want to do a cat, dog, um, goat, you can use pretty much any animal you want to. Um, the spec and I are just going to use a horse and sheep today. Okay, so you can grab any kind of instrument. Um, if you don't have any instruments, like I said, you can clap your hands, clap your thighs. Um, you can get a bin turned into a drum, just like we did last week. How uh, we were, we were in the gym, I think, and outside, and we used it. And that's what I used because I didn't have a drum, so I just used the bin and I just powered it with my hands, with one hand if I held it, or you can set it on a table or a floor and you can use both hands so like this, like a ball. Um, but you can pretty much use anything or just go to the, even go to the kitchen door and get you know get two spoons. And you can just do it on the table, do it on floor, or even wooden spoons. You know they yeah. use for cooking. So whatever you whatever you guys have to use, um, it's a really good good way to be creative. So we're going to use uh, two actually. We're going to spice it up a little bit. So typically when we use instruments, we use the same instrument. But today we decided to change things up. Miss Becky's going to use the shaker. Also known as a Moroccan. And I'm gonna use that. So it's gonna, you're gonna hear a little, it's gonna sound a little bit different, uh, but it's just gonna mix the thing up. So you guys ready to do a little McDonald? Or right, you gotta help us. Do you all have your instruments? Great. You ready, Miss Saki? Ready. All right, here we go. She took to school and the lamb wasn't allowed at school. So I have a friend here with me today. His name is Sam. And Sam is outside and he wants to know what are some rules that can keep us safe while we're outside. He got out of his car with his parents and he needs to cross the road. So what do you think that Sam should do? Hi friends, what should I do when I cross the road? That's right, you should hold your parent's hand and look both ways to see if any cars are coming. So when you're home today with your parents, talk about some rules that you can come up with to keep you safe when you're outside. And send, this, send them to us and let us know what else you can think of, okay? Bye friends. Okay, 
So now, parents, um, in your binder, you should see uh, a tab for games. So it's game number 177 we need to pull out. It's called Today I Team. So we always are talking about rules every single day. I'm sure you guys talk about rules at house um, with your kids, too, with what you expect within your home. These are our rules that we're expecting for Virgil. And then we also have a set of rules that are underneath that of rules that we expect while um, our friends are in the classroom. They're a little bit different because every situation is different. So over the next few days, um, I want you to teach you how a skill, um, such as like a household skill. Um, but make sure you start small because um, we want them to succeed in this. So some examples um, that we could we thought of, um, the violins, if you can think of anything else, um, you can share that with us and we can pass on to other families. Or if you have a better idea, just do that. Instead, these are just suggestions for them feeling that you do not have to do them. They're just a suggestion. Like I said, you can come up with your own, um, whatever that works best in your home. So some suggestions that we came up with is having your child help you fold laundry or have them help you put the clothes in the washer or take them from the washer to the dryer. Um, it's a real simple task um, that would make them, giving them that, that knowledge on how to do how to do it and something small. Having them help you load and unload the dishwasher is also great. But if you don't have a dishwasher and you wash your dishes by hand, you can always just have them help you dry those dishes. Um, that's really good, really good fun for, um, for them. Um, you can have them help prepare help you prepare meals, um, whether it be breakfast, lunch, dinner, a snack. Um, just getting them used to measuring and stirring um, and getting them to understand that like some things, like if you're making something homemade, you know, there's directions, there's instructions to follow in order to get that final product. Uh, so it's just a really good experience for them. And then lastly, um, if you have pets in your home, another good skill for them would be to help assist in taking care of that pet, whether it's getting that pet water, um, giving them their food every day, uh, anything like that is a really great skill for them. Okay, sounds good. So as we're leaving you right now from this video, we need you to go on YouTube and listen to the story, This Is Me by Janie Lee Curtis. It's a really good book. And we'll see you soon for some more fun activities. See you in a bit, friends.